Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are going to show you the new wheel and tire setup on the truck and explain everything that was done. So she's all put together, uh, looking really good and uh, stay tuned and we'll show you exactly what we all did. All right guys, the day I've been waiting for forever and I'm glad to actually reveal this to you. We're going to take a look at the truck with the new wheels. Sorry if it's a little windy out here. But here she is. Man, she looks good. I know it's hard to see right now, but I'll put some pictures up. The truck is actually sitting perfectly level now. Um, the wheel and tire combo is a 24 by 14 American Force Morph with a negative 90 offset. So they turned out really, really good. The truck just has a whole new stance and the way it looks. It's, it, it's like a completely different truck. So if you look in here, we added a, a leveling kit, a one and a half inch spacer. The spring is bowed ever so slightly. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you guys can pick it up right now, but ever so slightly, it's barely even noticeable. You have to look for it. And then when you come over here, looking in the wheel well, there's, there's some trimming that was involved, but if you look at it, it's right here and then a little bit right here. They painted it and everything. A piece of the metal was cut. And then back over here, all of this plastic was cut out. But they did a really good job when they did the trimming on it. Um, I bought a bumper spacer kit from Zone Off-Road and actually some billet shock extension pieces if I needed them. But if you look at it, I don't even have them on. So, And the bumper spacer kit is not installed as well. So I'm glad they didn't have to do that. There was no real huge metal trimming on the bumper and everything in here is just really just plastic trimming so the stance of this thing just looks so much meaner the old wheels and tires were all tucked up in there but these ones are not so she just looks so good i'm so impressed with it <laughs> guys can see I got the black lug nuts in on there still but the chrome one should be here today I'm gonna do the chrome spike lug nuts kind of just clean it up but so I'm just beyond grateful how it turned out the truck looks completely different it is a whole new beast I mean I know the wheel and tire combo I have is pretty pretty pricey for some but it just completely remakes the truck makes it look like a, a wholly totally different truck so Comment down below if you guys like the, uh, the polish look or the black wheels. Uh, I'm a little partial to the polish. It just sets it off a lo lot differently and it makes it look a little bit cleaner in my opinion. I had the black wheels since I've had the truck now for about three years, so I am listing them up for sale. And if you guys are interested, make sure you hit me up in my Instagram. It's the same as the channel, OKC underscore 6.7. If you guys are already following me over there, you'd see that you would have seen the uh, pictures of the truck that I posted yesterday. So I just couldn't contain myself. I couldn't hold back. I just actually shared it and showed some pictures of it. Here's the actual stuff that I did order that I didn't use. These are the billet spacers, or excuse me, these are the billet shock extensions. Uh, this is what they come back, look, this is what they come packaged like. They're $32 a piece. I think I paid 64 bucks for the pair. And then I also ordered the zone uh, bumper spacer. There's six of these spacers. They're about an inch wide, a little bit less than an inch. I think it's like seven eighths of an inch wide. And it actually comes with new hardware, new washers and new um, nuts. So all that stuff came. I didn't use it. I'm just going to pack it away. If you guys are interested, interested in this stuff, let me know. I'll be ha more than happy to ship it out to you, but, uh, just hit me up in my DMS and let me know, uh, for the wheels, we are going to sell the wheels. They're sitting right here. So they're great. They're great wheels. Uh, obviously they're American force. They're the Liberty SS version. They are a 22 by 11, eight by 6.5 lug pattern, and they are a zero offset. So you could tell the wheels look really good. I don't know if it's even going to pick it up, but there's kind of like some 
surface scratches here. It's not scratched to the wheel itself. It's just wear from brake dust and stuff being washed. Um, all the wheels are pretty clean. No issues, no curb rash, no scuffs. They may have those slight uh, surface scuffs on there from just over time. It will come with the spike lug nuts if you're interested and it will come with TPMS sensors that are already installed. Uh, I'm not sure this is much of a big of a deal but I do have the spike valve stem cover and it will come with the tires. So DM me if you're interested. I'm located in Moore, Oklahoma which is a suburb right outside of Oklahoma City. And the, the tires, as I, I'm not even going to try to like spruce it up a little bit. They're pretty worn out. I want to say they're about 20, 15, 20% life left. They still, they still ride great. They're still, they're not noisy. I was religious about rotating them. So they are for sale. If you guys are interested, probably get this polished tip installed today. Probably along. I'm not sure when we're going to do our fuel filters. I might wait another thousand miles or so to when I do them. I only have about 6,000 miles on the fuel filters, but we're going to probably put on this uh, five to seven inch tip today just to kind of give some more color or, or more polished look to the truck and go from there. So, so yeah, everything got done. I want to give a huge shout out to Cali Customs in Oklahoma City. They built a few SEMA trucks. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you go visit their uh, their Instagram. I'll put a, a link to their Instagram in the description. They were awesome. They did the leveling kit install. They did the mountain balance, and they also installed that Synergy drag link. So probably in my next video, I'm actually going to take the truck to uh, a Dodge dealership and have them look at the actual drag link to do the safety inspection so we can get reimbursement for that. There is a Thurin track bar on uh, coming to us. Should be here by Friday. Uh, order that from uh, Old Garofalo Enterprises. That'll be here on Friday. We're going to take the truck back. We're going to get an alignment and get the track bar installed. So uh, another shout out I want to give is my buddy James across the street. He's pretty much been doing all my heavy lifting for me. He helped load all four, all four tires all four wheels in the back of my truck and we actually put some in the back of his f-150 over there and dropped it off yesterday and cali customs i dropped it off about nine o'clock they called me about three o'clock said hey man truck's ready to come get so huge shout out to those guys very fair pricing and they do excellent excellent work so once again, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys watching. If this is your first time here, make sure you guys get down there, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And if you could, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and also leave a comment. Let me know what you, how you guys feel about this wheel and tire setup. I know the stance type thing isn't for everybody, but I generally think it looks awesome. Uh, I think 24 by 14s is the largest I will go being comfortable on a daily driver. So. Um, as you guys see, I have 375 40 R24s with the 24 by 14. It is a six inch BDS lift with a one and a half inch spacer. This combo right here, I have not been able to find. I have not been able to find anybody on YouTube or Instagram that is running this exact setup. So if you're interested in running something similar to this, you can do it. The negative 90 kind of the negative 90 offset kind of scares people when it comes to actually putting that size of tire on there. Uh, there was one guy that I was following who is who has 35 by 15 and a half uh, Furies and they fit just fine for him. He said it rubbed a little bit. Uh, for this, for my application, driving it around for about 20 miles that I've had it so far, I, I'm testing it and I have yet to rub. I am driving it, uh, I am steering it slowly, driving a little bit slowly, still trying to get used to how wider it is so I don't curb anything, but everything feels good. Uh, the tire pressure, I'm still unsure of what I'm going to run. So if you guys have an idea like what you've ran uh, in your tires, le leave a comment down below. I used to run 55 in the front, 50 in the back with my old Nittos and my old American Forces. I think I'm going to run probably around 50 in the front, uh, probably 50 all the way around. Right now they're up to 65. So they're brand new sensors. Apparently you have to bump them up to 65 and then you can adjust them below. Um, the easy link makes it easy for me to calibrate my TPMS so I don't have to have the 80 and 65 like the door calls for, but I'm still just going to play around with that and actually go from there. I do have a 12 ply. It's a 126. Let me take a look at it real quick. It's a 126 Q tire rating on this truck. So uh, my last tires were a 10 ply tire and I know these trucks I believe call for a 12 ply tire if you're uh, towing. So if you are towing these 375s are a perfect tire for that. I know the Nittos are the same way so if you actually want to you know have a little bit of stance to your truck and still tow and be safe this, t this tire will work out for you. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Once again, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Thank, for, thank you for watching. Um, if you, like I said earlier, if you haven't been here, make sure you get down there, click subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And once again, appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Until the next upload, we'll see you then. Have a good one.